Whew, what a nice day. Hey, welcome aboard. Jordan, welcome aboard the Naomi. Pleasure to meet you. Agent Denham, this is Agent Hughes. Hi, how are you? Let me introduce you. This is Nicole. Heidi, come on, don't be shy. What are you guys all shy for? <laughs> don't be scared. These are uh, friends of Stratton. It's a pleasure. Hello. Um, <laughs> One. Fine. Your message said that, that you wanted to speak privately. Right, I do want to speak privately. Give us a minute, huh, ladies? Let me know if I can get you anything. We'd be happy to help. You guys hungry? Want something to eat? Got some uh, pasta, shrimp, lobster. I got whiskey, any kind of booze you want. You know what? The Bureau doesn't allow us to drink while we're at sea. Duh. <laughs> of course. Ever been on one of these before? A boat? Well, learn how to sail when I was six. Oh, shit. Is that right? Really? I mean, I'm one like this, though. I mean, I had the whole front extended in order to fit the chopper up there. See that? Anyway, this is for you. It's a complete list of every person that was at my wedding. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I understand you wanted the uh, whole wedding video. Figured this would help expedite the whole process, right? There you go. Look, my point is that I know you're investigating Stratton, but for the life of me, I, I, I can't figure out why. I know we're a little unorthodox. We're a little loud in the way we do things, but you got to understand we're the new guys on the block, you know, trying to make a name for ourselves. But I want you to understand we don't do anything illegal whatsoever. I mean, you could talk to the SEC. They were at my office 15 times over the last six months. So, I mean, I got, got nothing to hide. Uh, well, you know, the SEC is a civil regulatory agency. We pursue criminal activity. Exactly. You you go after real criminals, which makes me wonder what, what the hell you're investigating me <laughs> for. I mean, honestly, what, what what is it that you think that we did or do? I, I don't get it. Well, I... Jordan, I can't discuss an ongoing investigation. No, I, I get that. No, I understand. With that said, this case got dumped on my desk. Did it? You know, by a higher up who uh, needs to make a show of looking into the new company on the block, you know, with Loud all the press guys, and everything, the and then press. I end up being the schmuck who does I the looking. It. Exactly. It just, it, you know, it bothers me. We're the new guy, and we're the one that's banging on Wall Street's door. I mean, you should. You should see what's going on at the bigger firms. I mean, I know all the information. Oh. <laughs> it's true. I'm Goldman, the Lehman Brothers, Merrill, collateralized debt obligations, this internet stock bullshit. I mean, it's a fucking travesty. I mean, I could take you step by step to what exactly is occurring. You know, you, all you have to do is ask. I'm, I'm available. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Mm -hmm. I don't see why a little sit down like this mm -hmm. can't be profitable for the both of us. It should, right? It should profit the both of us. It should. Look, I'm going to give you my personal line. Five days a week, you just call me, feel free. I'll do that. Great. Are you sure you guys don't want something to drink? I mean, you're not hungry? Nothing? Nothing? Oh, no. No? Let me ask you, and if you don't want to get too personal, just tell me to shut up at any time. Oh. Did you try to get your broker's license at one time? Did I hear that right? Were you trying to take a stab at Wall Street? No? Who you been talking to? <laughs> Who the fuck you, you been talking you to? Why are you investigating me? I, <laughs> I hear things, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you ever think about what would have happened if you would have, you know, stayed the course? You know what? When I'm riding home on the subway and my balls are fucking sweating, I'm wearing the same suit three days in a row? Yeah, you, you bet I do. Yeah. I've thought about it before. Who wouldn't, right? All right, who fucking wouldn't? I mean, what do you get? Another personal question you don't need to answer. No, no, that's all right, Jordan. What are you pulling? 50, 60K, something like that? A year? A oh. ballpark? Well, let's put it this way. You get a free handgun when you sign up for the Bureau. <laughs> no, but it what fucking do do? pisses me off. You know what I mean? You think about the people that built this country, hardworking people like you. You know, firefighters, teachers, FBI agents. End of the day, you guys get fucking skinned alive financially. Fucking makes me angry. Now, that's the one thing about Wall Street and this market is, for me, I feel it's good to give back, you know? There's, there's situations where I can make those situations better for people, you know? You know what I mean. Opportunity is everything. Exactly. And for example, I got this one kid, right? Uh, Went to, went to school for environmental science, something like that. He was bogged down by student loans. Turns out his mother needed triple bypass surgery. Jesus. Right, horrible situation. Sure. Terrible. But we got him in at the market at the right time, chose the right stock. We gave him the right guidance. 
boom, overnight, changed his entire life. You know, got to put his mother into the best hospital in New York City. It didn't work out for her. Granted, she passed away, unfortunately, but we gave him that opportunity. You know what I'm saying? It's just about setting up the right team, and then overnight, your life can change. What is a, what if it was an intern? Uh, what is an intern making a deal like that? Well, in that situation, I mean, in that particular trade, and with one trade, north of half a million dollars. And I do that for anybody, you know, anybody that needs the proper guidance. Can you say that again? Just the way you said it. Just the same way. Um, I don't know what you're talking no, about. Oh, come on, you know what I'm talking no, about. I don't I'll know just what say you're the same thing. I think what Jordan just did is he, if I'm not mistaken, no. you just tried to bribe a federal no, officer. No, technically, ah, I didn't bribe anybody. No, no, that's technically, not the that's the No, no, no. According Jordan. to the U.S. criminal code, there needs to be an exact dollar figure for an oh. exchange of services that would not hold up in a court of law. That's you both fucking not how I heard it. No, 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 no. That's the truth. But I want to tell you this. Yeah. The same gentleman that told me that you tried to get your broker's license also told me that you were a straight arrow. You ran a security check on me. Well, now when you sail on a boat fit for a Bond villain, sometimes you need to play the part, right? I think it's time you both get the fuck off my boat. What do you say? <laughs> you know, Jordan, I'll tell you something. Most of the Wall Street jackasses that I bust, yeah. they're, uh, they're to the manor born. Is that right? Yeah. Their fathers are douchebags, just like their fathers before them. But you, you, Jordan, you got this way all on your own. Did I? Good for you, little man. Little man? Good for you. <laughs> me, the little man. And let me tell you something. <laughs> no, let me tell you something else. Honestly, I'm not bullshitting here. This is one of the nicest boats that I've ever been on. I gotta, I gotta tell you. I bet it is. And you know what I was just thinking, too? The fucking hero that I'm gonna be back at the office when the Bureau seizes this fucking boat, because I mean, fuck it, he fuck, fuck, Jordan, look at this thing. <laughs> it's beautiful. If you get the beautiful girls there, it's wonderful. All right, get the fuck oh. off my boat. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other real soon. I'm sure. Good luck on that subway ride home to your miserable, ugly fucking wives. I'm gonna have Heidi lick some caviar off my balls in the meantime. Hey, you guys wanna take some lobsters for your ride home? Fucking miserable pricks. I know you can't afford them, you fucking cheap fucks. Hey, fellas, look what I found in my pocket. Look, a year's salary right here. You know what I call them? Fun coupons. See that? They're fun coupons. I'm on the Snoop Zombie.